Right, hi everyone. We're going to be trying out the new Superstar Dream Cakes and uh, my lovely model here, Shader. And I thought as it's nearly Christmas time, we will have a go at a reindeer, a cute reindeer. Okie dokie. So here we have the Safari Cake. This is the first time I've used any of these, so I'm very excited. Look at that on you. Ooh, very pretty. So, this is a first for me. And uh, I believe the best way to apply them, because they're so soft, is with a sponge. So that's what we're going to have a go at. Um, and so I'm going to spritz my sponge. In a minute, I'm going to uh, film some swatches of a couple of the other cakes as well. So get a, an idea and loading the sponge uh, like all of you obviously I would prefer a square container it's a bit of a pain having to use a round container but you know I get it you know it's a, um, these are the containers they've got and and I'm sure if if they take off we will see them move to square containers or oblong containers right nicely loaded can I just point something out? What? I'm the better filmer. I'm not filming this. Okay. It's my dad and he's really Okay. Bad. Well, you're modelling. Uh, can you sit forward, it. please? Could you be the better, better modeller for once? Right. No. Close your eyes for me. So, using the palest colour in the middle, I'm just going to load down and move in, pivoting the sponge. Flipping to the other side, keeping the lighter colour in the middle. And I normally I do this design using Krylon interference bronze and then uh, a split a one stroke to do the detailing with. So we're going to do a bit differently today and see how it works out. And I'm going to pinching the sponge back. So I don't want too much. I want central colours. I'm just going to do this little bit over the top of the nose here. There we go. That should do us right. Let me just get in here. Uh, using Krylon 070 Aqua Colours, my favourite sort of base white, rather as opposed to a line white. And I'm using a cut up baby sponge. Loading. Right, close your eyes for me. And I just really want to fill that eye socket. Very quick and easy. And the same on the other side. And then close your mouth. I'm just going to give a little muzzle. And I know that reindeers don't actually have a muzzle, you know, a split lip as such. But I always think it helps it make look like an animal when you give it that split lip. Open your mouth for me, darling. Good girl. But I always keep the muzzle a bit small because it's sort of a bit made up, really. <laughs> and... Then I'm going to a brown split uh, one stroke and we're going to do the antlers with the one stroke. Um, I'm, I've got a bit of a thing, I don't like cat ears on my reindeer. Deers have very big uh, ears so I'd always rather, if I can't fit them in, as Shade has a bit of a small forehead, I'll make a big thing. It's not a bad thing. But I just, no no kid can fit a proper deer ear on their head. Sky can. But Sky's have, has, even Sky can't get a proper deer's ear on. So I um, make a big thing of the antlers because at the end of the day, that's what we want. You see there? And let me reload. Just 
So I want to fill that space. I hate those sort of, you know, I hate those sort of stick antlers that some people do, with the, you know, look like Olaf's hands. <laughs> so I'm filling the whole space, making the antlers as big as I can. And I'm just not going to worry about ears too much. No, right, darling. And then with whatever space I've got left, I'm going back to my sponge. With the, and I'm just going to fill in a little space at the side. And that's going to be our ears. The rest will all be done with line work. There we go. And then as it is Christmas, let's give it a bit of holly. Uh, this is Green Carpet by DFX. So we'll give a couple of holly leaves just in front of the antlers. Okay. Um, red for the berries, of course. And normally I would have some nice red glitter. And when I do the nose, I would add glitter on the nose. And the kids always love that, their red sparkly noses. But Shade is not a big fan of glitter, so I'm just going to paint her nose red. Nice cute little red nose. And then go over the lips. If it's a girl, just the bottom lip. Let's close your mouth. You can see she's so happy about modelling for me. <laughs> right, and now it's just line work. Loading up my DFX black. Oh, a bit of... Let's sit up for me, please. Come on, next time. I can't reach over there. It's coming my back. That's a good girl. And close your eyes for me. I'm just going to encircle the eyes. I always thought that helps make it look cuter. You know what I mean? I'm going to give the muzzle here. And then just outline the rest. And I'm not going to bother outlining um, all of the antlers because I'm going to put snow on them in just a second. So I'm just going to give a bit of shape to the berries and the leaves. Holly leaves are very dark. People forget that. So I always try and get quite a bit of black with the holly leaves. And let's get those ears, give them some shape. Right, and then just a few white dots to finish. A little bit of snow. 
So loading up my good old faithful DFX white with my favourite dotting brush, my a very old number four gold grip, which has well lost its point, but that makes it great for doing dots. Uh, sometimes you can do these with a dauber, get a little dauber, and that works quite well. But um, I can't usually be bothered just for the sake of a couple of times. Look at me, darling. Just to give her that fawn-like appearance. And then a little bit of snow on the antlers. And just, uh, you don't want it too regular looking. You want it to look like it's sort of settled there. And a little dot in each berry. And then, excuse me. Oops. A little bit in the holly leaves. Look at me. Close your eyes. Just to give a little bit more emphasis on the eyes. And I think that's about us done. So there we go. Um, I'm going to get this uploaded. I'm going to do some swatches as well. And I'll get this uploaded for the morning. Don't forget, all of these are on special offer for Black Friday uh, with Magic Box. The code is DREAM2020. But I will put the details up. Okay, thank you very much. Melding.